Hello. Welcome back. Here's what's about to happen. It's only been a few days since the hatchlings, the two ball pythons, have come fully out of those eggs. This is only a few days after the last video's filming. But it is now time to get them out of the incubator and into a terrarium. Here's some footage of the terrarium setup that I've got going on. Okay, so here's the tank setup. Got some very nice coconut mulch. Very moist. We're going to keep high humidity in there. And I've got these four rocks because they are going to support this very lightweight type of cork tree plant material. It's all natural and really lightweight and that's why I want it. I don't want anything falling on or hurting these little guys. I have to move the rocks out just a little bit. This will give them a very secure feeling den where they can hide. Be able to fit right in under there. Nice little space in there. Okay, then the shallow water dish. Very shallow. Nobody is drowning in here anytime soon. They'll have fresh water constantly. This is actually the old setup for my uh, my scorpion that I had. Copernicus. Miss you, buddy. He passed a few years ago. But we do have this lightweight plant mimicking material which also just gives them more feeling of security less shadows startling them so that can fit right in there alright so all is well and it looks like we are ready to go get the heat generation on it get it up to the right temperatures keep the humidity high and we're all set now these two can stay together in there for about 20 days or so, however long it takes for them to get to their first shed. After that though, it's going to be time to put them into separate containers so that way they can kind of be to themselves and not harm each other. There is a potential that they could nip at each other, especially after the first shed. Or so I've been told. Now, I don't really want to disturb them too much when they're this young. I mean, they're still fragile. But, since I have to take them out anyway, this is a great time to get their mass. It's very fresh since they've been hatched. This will be a very accurate reading then as to how much, how many grams they had when they first came out of the egg. So I'm going to be taking them out of the incubator, make sure that they're cleaned off, and then I'll be massing them. Then they're going to go straight into the terrarium. Here we go. This is the feisty one. But it seems to be acting pretty calm right now. And here we have a nice clean baby hatchling. So adorable. So precious. And so clean. Let's get a mess. It's gonna pick her up on the back. I'm gonna say her until proven otherwise. But we're at zero on the scale. Just place her right there. 54.3. Oh, she's ready to go. July 21st. So day 65 as far as the eggs go. But day 3 as far as hatching. 54.3 grams. Perhaps now, you see why these are called ball pythons. Okay, let's get a mass. Okay, I'm ever so gentle. She is 57.5. 57.5 grams. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get them back now into their new home and get them some more nice heat. Ever so gently, welcome to your new home.
There you go. Lots to explore. I can tell he already likes his hide. Or she. Alright, let's leave him be. Whew. Well, there you have it. We got two baby ball pythons now in a proper terrarium. No more of that incubator business. A month or two from now, we'll actually be able to find out what their sex is. So, stay tuned for that, and we'll find out what we uh, end up naming them. Again, if they're both female, I already have names in mind. I'll start thinking of some male names, too, in the meantime, just in case. If it's WW, I don't know what to name it. <laughs> but it won't be. Thanks for checking this one out. See you next time.